What's going on YouTube? It's Sergio Barron here, back again with another tutorial. Another self-cut tutorial that is. Um, I did drop a previous one that was a ball fade mid tutorial and I got a lot of great feedback from it. Um, a lot of y'all sent me y'all's testimonials, y'all's uh, after pictures of how y'all's haircuts came out and a lot of them were really good. Um, a lot of them not so good. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that that's going to happen. You know, like, this is something you're not just going to pick up a pair of clippers and be great at it the first time. It's going to take time for you to, like, really get familiar with the clippers, the hand movements, your head, all of that. It, it's just going to take time. And with practice, you will get better. And uh, so, yeah, with this tutorial, I thought maybe I'd simplify it a little bit for those who had a difficult time with uh, the last tutorial. This time I'm gonna just use two clippers and uh, I'm gonna recommend two of mine that I use to y'all. I mean, there's a, all sorts of clippers out there that y'all can go and uh, check out for yourselves, see which ones might you might like that fit for you. But uh, ones that I do recommend, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but this is just, I've been dealing with these clippers for a long time. You know, um, I am a certified barber, so I've, I've, ran, I've, I've ran through a lot of clippers and. I've just landed with one of these, these are the Walls 5 Star Seniors, and um, yeah, so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a good pair of clippers like these, and uh, these, I like these, well make sure, well first of all, you got to make sure that your clipper has a lever on the side with these micro adjustments, because that, that's going to be, that's real essential when it comes to blending out uh, a fade properly, and uh, also these come with the, these two guards right here the half clip and the one and a half clip. Normally these don't come in the pack of the, like when you get your your guards, the number one through eight or one through 10, I think they sent them in. But uh, yeah, when you get these clippers, these come in the, in the box with these already. So you don't even have to go out of your way to get these. So um, yeah, that. And um, also what I wanna talk about is in the video, you'll see me using, saying a lot that I open my lever here to three quarters of the way. And all I mean by that is um, simply the lever closed is a, a zero and the lever open is a half. So when I say open it uh, halfway, that's just in the middle and open it to three quarters, that's basically in the middle of open all the way and, and the middle. So. It'd be just, in, you open it all the way and just close it up a tad bit. So it'd be zero, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and then open all the way, four quarters. So yeah, so just keep that in mind because you will hear me say a lot that I open it up to three quarters. And that's just what I mean by that. And um, also, you need to, you're gonna need to, also you're gonna need to get yourself a pair of trimmers. Uh, I like these, cause these, they're cordless, babyless, Effect, no, the Babyliss Skeleton trimmers. Um, these are really sharp. So there's a lot of other trimmers out there. If you have other preferences, then go ahead and use those. But I like these. They're real powerful. They're real durable. And um, and yeah. So just these. I'm, I'm gonna do the whole tutorial with these those those two clippers right there. You can get yourself a pair of like Walmart clippers or whatnot, but. Um, the only thing I don't like about those is that you they don't have replacement blades normally, I think. And with these professional ones, you know, like if they last me that I'm a certified barber and I cut every day, all day, they last me two to three years. And in between those years, I'll maybe I'll switch out the blades maybe like every three months, two to three months, depending on how they feel on me. And um, so if you're just gonna use them for personal use and at home usage, I'm pretty sure they're gonna last you a real long time, especially if you maintain them. And as far as maintaining them, all, all it is is really brushing the hair off every t after every use and uh, spraying some disinfectant spray that lubricates and cleans it at the same time. Also, the mirrors I will be using is, your, I mean, you're going to need a base mirror in the front, whether that's in your restroom, bedroom, I, I don't know wherever you're going to cut your hair at. Um, you'll have your base mirror in the front of you and your handheld mirror. And a, a good tip that I did with my handheld mirror is I bought a piece of uh, Velcro. And uh, I also have a ring light, which 
can help. And I, I uh, Velcro the mirror to the ring light. That way you don't have to hold it while you're cutting the back of your hair. And uh, it, it, it comes really useful when, uh, when cutting your own hair. Yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and do that mid fade again. But this time I won't be using the shavers and uh, a straight edge. Yeah, because the last tutorial, I know I, I was using multiple clippers and I, I had the shaver and the, the straight edge razor. And uh, that's my bad for assuming everybody is a professional barber and would have these things. But um, yeah, that's why I want to do this one with just two clippers. That's all you'll need. Basically, your two mirrors. That's all you'll, that's all you'll need for this tutorial on a self-cut. It won't be bought. But I mean, as long as you have a pretty close trimmer, you'll still get it close enough and your hair will be um, decent enough for a self cut or whatnot, you know, because at times like these where, you know, our barbers ain't barbers out there ain't cutting and you can't get a haircut, you know, you'll be able to still give yourself something decent. Or even if in different occasions where your barber's too busy or whatever the reason may be, you'll be able to give yourself something decent enough to get you through the occasion, weekend, or whatever that is. And so yeah, I'm gonna be doing a mid fade again with an eight on top. The reason I, want, the reason I like an eight guard is because with the eight, it's it's a good length. It's uh, short enough to like not need much maintenance, but it's long enough to, to where when you apply any kind of product like gel or pomade, it still makes it look like a little messy and it looks, it looks long enough, it looks nice. So that's the reason I use an eight. So we're gonna be doing just the, the trimmers, which is a sub-zero, and blend that up into the eight. And uh, on the mid fade, what I do is I drop it towards the back. As soon as you're passing the ear, you'll see me kind of drop down the fade. And that's just to like contour the shape of my head with the, with the blend. And um, yeah, it just gives it a nicer look. I drop the fade in the back. So yeah, with that being said, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so we're going to start by putting on the number 8 guard and make sure that lever is closed all the way just to ensure that it's a true 8 and we're going to run it over the top of the head, you know, numerous times that will make sure we get the top length of the hair real even, make sure you don't leave behind any strays. grab our liner and we're going to use this to set down our first guideline. I will start by my temple area and then come down as I reach my ear. I'll start slanting down a little bit being since I'm doing a mid drop fade. I'm going to drop the fade towards the back and all I'm doing is flicking in and coming. As soon as I reach to the top of the guideline where I'm trying to set it at, I'm going to flick out just a tad bit. And now I'm going to grab my clipper with no guard open it up all the way which is a half and I'm gonna come up about a centimeter to two and using that same exact motion I'm gonna set this second guideline down now I'm gonna throw in a one guard open the lever up which is a one and a half and I'm gonna do the exact same thing coming up about another one to two centimeters up high. And now I'm gonna grab the two guard, open up the lever, and that's a two and a half. And I'm gonna come up about another centimeter to two centimeters up high. And as you get closer to the curving of your head, which is called the parietal ridge area, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start kind of focusing on flicking out more. That way you're not digging into the top of the head, which will make it look more of a higher fade when you do that. So yeah, as you reach that area, make sure you flick out more. Then I'm gonna get the three and a half, which is a three guard with the open lever. 
and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And now I'm really just gonna focus on just flicking up into the eight guard. The three and a half for me is usually the highest I need to go with my type of hair. But is it you feel you need to go higher as grabbing the four and a half, then do that as well and doing the exact same thing. Make sure you scope the side length of the hair onto the top. Okay, now we're gonna start taking out these guidelines we left behind and we will start from the top guideline and work our way down. I will take my one and a half clip and I'm gonna open it up to about three quarters. That's opened all the way and then I'm gonna just close it a tad bit. And when I'm taking down these guidelines, I like to lay down only like half the clipper on the head. Kind of helps me get more detailed when it comes to blending out these guidelines. So yeah, we're going to do the exact same thing as far as a flick out motion. And we will start picking out at this guideline at the top until we finish blending it out. And now I'm gonna grab the half guard and I'm gonna place the lever in the exact same position as the previous one. That's about three quarters. And I'm gonna start flicking out at that middle guideline we left behind. it up to the same three quarters and we're going to finish taking out that middle guideline that we left above and now i'm going to come in with no guards and close the lever which is a zero and i'm going to start working on taking out that last guideline make sure you work in small sections at a time until you completely get that guideline out and uh, just coming up a tad bit, just keep flicking up. Then I will open the lever halfway and I'm gonna come up another tad bit. Finally, I will open the lever all the way to a half and finish out the blend. You can also stretch your skin out a little bit with your opposite hand just to help you get in a little bit more detail. Now that the blend is pretty much laid down, you can use the opposite mirror to kind of get a good view of the whole fade. And you can come back in with any clipper or guard you may need to finish kind of detailing the blend. The detail work will vary from head to head, being all our heads are different, but with practice, you'll be able to determine what guard you will need to fit your head. Then I will come in with my detailers and finish taking out the rest of the hair we left behind. And as I come up to the top, I'm gonna just flick out. exact same step we did on one side to the other side and the back as well.
Now for the back of the head guys, make sure you're looking at the small mirror and make sure you have the big mirror in back of your head. That gives you a way better view of the back. Now that the blend is done, make sure you brush out all the hair so you can get a good view of the whole fade. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see here if you need any touch-ups. And if you don't, we'll move on to the beard work. I keep a short stubble on my facial hair and I'll grab a one and a half, open the lever, and uh, yeah, I'll trim the middle of the facial hair with it. And as I move to the side, I'll close the lever halfway. And then once I get to the sideburn area of the facial hair i will close the lever all the way just to create a little sort of a fade and now we'll blend the side facial hair up into the fade and what i'm doing is basically i'll open the lever then close it halfway and then close it all the way to complete the whole fade effect. And now I'm gonna grab my trimmers to shape up my forehead area. 
and I start with the sides and then I work my way up to the middle of the forehead and uh, just take your time here you know continuously like put down the clipper and make sure you're combing straight from each side of the head and when lining up the bottom of my beard what I do is kind of look for the crease area or where my neck bends and that's where I'll lay down my lineup For the cheek area, I don't like any hard lines, so what I do is I just grab my trimmers and take out any peach fuzz. I also take off my mustache, being I don't grow a complete full one as I would like to, so I just take it out. And that's about it guys for this tutorial. To finish it off, I'll grab a little bit of pomade and play with my hair until I find a style that I'm satisfied with. So yeah guys, I hope y'all were able to take something from this tutorial, and just keep in mind that with practice, y'all will get better y'all yeah, be able to get more familiar with y'all's head so yeah if y'all like this video give it a thumbs up thank y'all for watching again my name is Sergio Barron until next time I'm out <laughs>